How you doing? Welcome to another video. I'm not going to be able to make the video that I want to make because I got injured at work. So I'm not going to be able to go on the kayak and go on an adventure like I wanted to. So I'm just going to make a video of me chilling at my trailer, doing some fishing off the dock. Oh so yeah, stick around. We got our propane. Out here we got um, some storage. This is your power. And that pulls out about eight feet, and I do have the adapter for that to change it to just a regular socket. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's old, but it's it's still standing. I think that's the date. Date of manufacture, 74. It was a good year. But yeah, you walk around here, and that's the tree. So yeah, it's got a few scrapes and dings and doinks, especially right there. But that's all fixable. As long as it doesn't leak, that's all I care about. If it doesn't stink and it doesn't leak, then life is good. There's the back of it. Lights still work too. Got our charcoal barbecue. We got our front porch. Honestly, we got everything here, man. That's where you pour your water into the tank. There we go. Yeah, you just pour the water in, fills up the tank. And it's a pretty big tank, and it's just stored underneath the bed. Okay. Check it out. Start with this side. You got your dining area. That turns into a bed. We got uh, propane lighting up there. Also got electrical lighting, if we need to use it. It's uh, nice and open. That's what I like about it. Got my light, got my fan. I got my little solar panel to charge my stuff, speaker, lantern. Uh, you got a hook for hanging stuff. You got a nice mirror. This is actually the uh, the bathroom. Yep, toilet works. It's only for number ones, not number twos. Uh, we'll make our way this way. That is a gas electric refrigerator, which is pretty cool. You just hit the switch. It's got a nice ice box in there too. No beer, I'm afraid. And you look down here, propane heater for the winter time. Old school. Right here we got our closet. I got hooks for hanging my clothes. That's where the garbage goes. I got some water storage, just miscellaneous stuff. Cleaners and what have you. Over here, I got another hook for my backpack. There's my fishing bag. Up here we got storage. It's a little bit messy, but that's okay. Got my TV. Say yes to VHS. And then right here we got the bed and the beautiful view. Yep, that's what I get to wake up to every time I'm here. The bed is super comfortable. It changes into a couch, but I just keep it as a bed because I primarily sit in the dining area. Got a propane stove, runs beautifully. Got the sink, which also works. I don't have any water in the tank right now, but all you do is just pump this up and down and it gives you some water. You can plug in a, a, an actual hose to the outside and you can have running water from like, say if you're at a park or something like that. Got fire extinguisher. We got storage up here for pots and pans and propane. Got a little bit of food. Range light also works. Got some odds and ends hanging up. So yeah, this trailer has everything that you need to be off the grid, or if you're just gonna go camp out uh, for a weekend or something like that. What I would like to do is get a power station, like a Jackery or a Blue Eddy or whatever. Get, get it with the solar panel and you're laughing. But uh, yeah, it's pretty groovy in here. Oh, there's also one thing I forgot to show you. This is kind of neat. You lift this up, bam, you got extra countertop space, just like that. Hope I can do this with one hand. There we go, beautiful. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, we got storage down here. Just for junk and what have you. All my stuff for lighting, cutlery. Me and my dad fixed the roof vent after a tree went through it. This trailer's had three trees land on it, and it's still standing, and it doesn't leak. But yeah, I'm gonna do some fishing. 
Hopefully I catch something. Check it out. Nice bass. Look at that. Beauty. We're looking at eight and a half inches. Cool. See ya. Oh, that makes me happy. That is a good fish. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that orange, eh? Eight and a half. Two fish that are eight and a half. Beautiful. I am, ooh, I am gonna put them back though, just because I would need five or six of these for a nice meal. So we're gonna put them back. You're lucky. Leave that right there. Lazy man fishing. Alright folks, I thought I'd show you how this trailer looks at night with the lights on. Damn, and that is the light that I use. <clears throat> I just put it on the stove top. And it lights the whole place up. Kind of amazing, actually. So what I do is I get my solar charger. And I leave that out in the sun. And I have it charging the flashlight all day. Yeah, you get like four to six hours worth of light. It's pretty awesome. And I do have this too. There we go. Now with that light there and that light there, you're good to go. I also have these. If I can avoid having an open flame indoors, I will. So yeah, right here from the dining area, we've got a perfect view of the fire. Just like it was meant to be. Decent. 10 inches. Goodbye. Well, trailer's locked up. My bags are packed. Caught a couple of fish. That was a lot of fun. Too bad I couldn't go on a bigger adventure, but next time, next time. I don't know if I've ever been in so much pain making a video in my entire life, but like I said, I'll go through it because I love y'all. Anyways, <clears throat> that wraps up this video. If you enjoy this content, you know what to do. Be safe, be excellent to each other, and as always, stay heavy. Bye, folks. Come on. Holy. Check it out. Boom, baby. That is the biggest bass I've... Actually, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. Wow. First cast. What a fish. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That's exactly what I needed today, man. 
Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. 17 inches. Wow.